Welcome back. They say one man's trash is another man's treasure. There was nothing left when several historic homes burned in Macon in 2019. Well, almost nothing. Thais Ackerman shows you how salvaged wood from those homes is getting new life. Marvin Riggins says around 9 o'clock Wednesday evening, firefighters responded to a fire that broke out across two homes. Not this house, but the where a house stood next to it um, in early summer of last year, 2019, uh, caught on fire. Those flames eventually spread to a third house near the corner of Orange Street and High Street. Unfortunately, I've had, I have had to uh, send four firefighters that were uh, injured inside of this fire uh, to Navison Healthcare at this point in time. It was a house under renovation that wasn't being occupied, and it was a pretty bad fire. It totaled that house, it totaled this house, it burned the walls on the other house over here, and it burned part of the roof and the walls over here. So that two houses that needed renovations and then two houses that were completely unsalvageable. My company, it's actually two companies. I have Blightbusters, which is my, my demolition company to actually salvage the wood out of these houses. Georgia Artisan, we sell reclaimed furniture. Um, so we sell tables, chairs, beds, all kinds of stuff made out of reclaimed wood coming out of houses like this. This is our 11th house in Macon that we've uh, torn down. Most of them are smaller houses that have been blighted, but these houses were unique in the sense that, like this house, people were living in it in the past year. This wood is gonna to go to our production shop and it's gonna dry, it's gonna go through an uh, inspection period and it's gonna get the nails pulled out of it, cut and built in the next eight weeks. And so we'll be delivering this stuff. This kind of wood is gonna have more of an indicator because it's gonna have some charred marks on it. For the next uh, three or four months, we'll, uh, our furniture will be made from this house uh, alone. The entire company and everyone, everyone in it is, is like that. We've got a lot of people that come from different backgrounds, and so we hire a lot of people that are untrained and unskilled starting out, whether it's here on the demolition or in a production setting, and um, able to, to train them up and um, give, them, give them jobs, give them careers. So that's this kind of us as a whole uh, as a mentality. It's great doing these demolitions because it gives dignity to the neighborhood. We're hiring people from the neighborhood, oftentimes, you know, showing that, hey, your, your house has value. The yeah, X says they've already started using the wood from the high street homes to make furniture, and that furniture will be shipped to buyers in metro areas across the United States.